Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lo. Um, or those of you who might know me from my Instagram at Olo. If you don't follow, go follow. Um, I'm new to YouTube, but I'm so excited about sharing more videos with you guys. Um, this was a highly requested video. I recently went to Europe and uh, let some of my followers know on Instagram how it's a lot cheaper to buy designer bags in Europe and how much money you save and everybody wanted to know all the details so I was like okay you know what this is going to be one of my first YouTube videos so here I am um subscribe <laughs> uh yeah so we're gonna just get right into it um and just go over all the things Europe bat tax let's get it okay so basically Europe has something called a bat tax which is value added tax um, so in their luxury goods, or a lot of their goods, I believe, everything, um, they include, the tax already is included in the price. So for Americans that go shopping there, we get that tax refund back to us when we leave because, or when we apply for it, um, because we aren't residents, you know, over there. So we get that tax that they charge their citizens, we get it back. So I hope I'm explaining that right. That's just kind of like a rough way of what my understanding is. Basically, you know, they build the tax into the price of the goods, so we get it back because you pay it initially. So winning, so good. <laughs> um, so I wanna share with you today the bags that we got over there and the price points what we paid and what the comparison is if you were to buy them in the states um huge savings so i'm going to show you some of the bags um let's get started okay so first up fendi we actually uh, went to paris first and i'm going to show you all the louis vuitton that we got there but the fendi that i purchased um was actually in rome and you know fendi roma so i was like i have to get my fendi in rome i was eyeing this bag for a while so where'd i put it oh <laughs> so i had to get it um this is the wallet on chain purse and I upgraded the strap as well, um, so that was additional cost. Um, let me give you the names here. Okay, so yeah, I gave you the price on the back. Now the, the strap was additional price. So I looked it up in the States. It would cost me $890 for this strap, but I paid $560 and with combined the purse and the strap at Fendi, this includes a 22% 20, VAT tax, which was $317.36. So that money is gonna come back to me when I go to the airport and I'll explain to you at the end um, how that works processing so that we get that money back, So, which is amazing. Basically, what I'm telling you is that you buy your bags cheaper than the US already, save a hundred bucks, and you get your VAT tax back that's built into the price. So it's like double savings, it's just amazing. I don't think I can ever buy designer goods in the US anymore <laughs> because I know how much cheaper it is in Europe. So anyways, on to the next. Okay, so next up, all things Louis Vuitton. Um, I'm going to be unboxing a few bags with you for Louis and I do want to say that we went to the Louis Vuitton in Paris. It's like a huge store, the biggest store I've ever seen. It's like four stories and the staff was amazing. They were so nice. I love Paris people. <laughs> they were like the nicest. They, yeah, it was crazy in the store. Like it was packed. It was and they just took their time and they were the nicest. So if you can shop in Paris, I, I encourage it. Okay, so the first bag there is the Speedy 30. So this one, I looked it up. 
wand. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I looked it up. This one retails for... Hold on. Okay. So this one retails in the States for $1,550. But the price at the Paris store was... A thousand one hundred eighty. So already saved a couple hundred bucks. Plus the VAT tax that day was twenty percent. By the way, the VAT tax can change, like I said, from twenty to twenty-five, um, depending on the currency rate, like how what it's going for at that certain time. So it was twenty percent, um, and. Again, I'll go over it at the end exactly how that works to get that extra 20% back. So, savings already right there. Okay, next up is a big one. The Palm Springs, Palm Springs MMNB Women's Backpack. Okay, so this one in the or in the states i just looked it up retails for two thousand seven hundred ten dollars and at the parent store let me show you it so cute with the black straps i died at the paris store the price was $2,060. So instantly, that's like almost a $700 savings. Like I said, that was a 20% VAT tax that day. So you get an additional percentage of that back at the airport. So that's that one. Felice Pochette, a mini crossbody. And this is in the black and the beige. I picked this one out for myself from my honey for Christmas so um <laughs> this one retails for at the states it retails for a thousand seven hundred sixty and in Rome actually we got this bag in Rome it was a thousand three hundred forty so already saved plus the VAT tax and it is this little cutie right here and it comes with the gold strap inside. Red imprint and then the gold strap. So there you go. Savings again. Okay, so the next thing I also want to mention is that if you buy um, any bags at the airport before you leave back to the states but the airport is there in europe somewhere um whatever airport that is a lot of them have designer stores in the airport so cool so bad because you want to buy everything right before you go home um but since you're already in the airport and at this point you would have done your vat tax refund process before you got to this point what they do is they have the shops that already have the VAT tax removed from the price of the goods. So all the previous bags that I um, shared with you were the price with the VAT tax included and then you're gonna get the refund. Now, if you buy stuff at the airport, it's honestly probably the most ideal situation to buy because you're already gonna get the VAT tax removed so you don't have to worry about getting the refund later and you can just buy it and you don't have to go through customs like you just buy it and you take it as a carry-on onto the plane so it's the most ideal situation i would say if you're buying a bag the only thing is you don't know what inventory they're gonna have there you can't really call ahead you don't know you just got to get lucky and to be honest they have a lot of stuff so I wouldn't be too worried but if you have like a specific bag that you want and you go to the airport and they don't have it then you're kind of out of luck because you're about to leave um but yeah so the cool thing is the whole airport already has the bag tax removed like I said so I'm going to give you an example of one of the bags that we did purchase right before we were about to go on the plane um so this is the 
multi pochette accessories i don't know why it's called accessories it's a handbag it's a crossbody <laughs> but um that's the name of the bag and this retails back home for two thousand five hundred seventy dollars this is a really hot bag um that to be honest a lot of times you can't even find in stores that's another cool thing about over there they have everything like you know all the sold out stuff in the u.s it's they have it in stock there which is amazing so this is a crossbody that comes with the pink strap i'm not gonna put it on i'm gonna leave it in in the bag right now um but yeah so like i said it was it's 2570 in the states right now and the price at the airport um in paris was a thousand seven hundred thirty so i did the math on that <laughs> That is a total savings of $840. So, it's just amazing, amazing. Um, yes, so if you can, definitely get your stuff at the airport, I would say, because you don't have to worry about the whole VAT tax um, refund. But if you can, you can do that too. So, let me talk about that for a sec. Okay, so let me get into the nitty gritty about how the VATEX uh, actually works as far as getting your payment back to your credit card. So when you're at the store and you buy the bag or you buy whatever luxury goods you buy, you're going to buy it. They're going to give you the Louis Vuitton or wherever you go, Gucci, Hermes receipt, and they're going to attach an additional receipt that's from um, one of the VAT tax vendors. So they have a few. Um, one of the big ones is Global Blue, which I used, and it was like amazing process. I got my refund really fast. But it could be another one um, or just a generic one, and then you go there and like they have different booths so, to the airport. So you get your receipt with your VAT tax form, in order to get this, you do have to have your passport on you when you're shopping. So make sure when you're shopping, you bring your passport. If you don't have your passport, it's going to be really hard, and I don't know how you go back um, and do that. So make sure you have it on you so they can issue you the VAT tax form. So now you go to the airport. Before you check in your luggage, before you go to baggage um, and put all your stuff on, you want to do this then because if you get somebody who says when we process the VAT tax form we want to see the goods you buy and if you already put them on the plane then that's going to be I don't know what's going to happen it's not going to be a good situation so just don't do it right as soon as you get in the airport get your VAT tax form get um have your stuff with you go to the line ask somebody you're going to see um tax refund signs whatever there is little booths you can go to that you can just do it yourself stick it in an envelope and it tells you like put the envelope in here and process it like in a little slip form um and you don't have to speak to anybody like face to face that's an option but we went to the actual line where there was a lady that helped us in case so i would recommend that take your stuff there so she only asked me for my passport obviously the VAT tax form and my phone number which i thought was weird at first but after i got a text so it helped confirm that my vat text is processing um so what you want to do is give her all the information she'll ask you for it now when i went to one line joe went to another line his lady told him he didn't need a receipt my lady told me i didn't need a receipt either but I remember watching previous videos where girls said to attach a receipt. So the cool thing was a lot of um, the purchases that we got, it will have like the regular receipt and then like a little printed, you know, like those little ones that they can like pull off the machine and it, it gives you like an additional receipt. Basically, it was two receipts. Um, I pulled that off and I put it inside my VAT tax little envelope even though she said you don't need a receipt. I had an extra one. I felt like better be safe than sorry and I put it in there. So you give her all the information. She says, okay, give it a week to whatever. You're going to get your refund. 
As soon as I left there, I instantly got a text saying, your VAD tax, whatever, is processing. Now, I put a receipt in there, Joe didn't. I got my refund faster than he did because we separated the purchases on separate credit cards. Um, and so, just to make sure we didn't have issues. So, the ones that I processed, I got instantly or pretty much faster than him. And I think it was because, I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure, because I attached a receipt to my um, form or I just stick stuck it in there because they didn't need to verify anything else because I had the form from Louis Vuitton with my receipt. It processed so fast. So he's like, well, the lady told me I didn't need to. I She told me not either, but I did and I got mine faster. He didn't get his refund for another two to three weeks after I had already gotten mine. So I would encourage you to get an extra receipt and put it in there and just do it so you get yours super fast. So basically the refund goes back onto your credit card and like I said, depending on that day and it could change too, like we noticed a small difference um, just by like 1% of uh, basically if our receipt when we bought it said it was like a 20% tax and then when actually processed it was 21, that's because later that day the VAT tax might have changed because it changes daily. Um, so, but you don't get the full 20%. You either get 10 to 12%. Um, also do your research, like it may be a higher VAT tax day in, if you're going to Rome or if you're going to Paris, look up the stores, see which one has a higher VAT tax rate that day so you can get a little bit more or if you just, don't care I mean it's like one or two percent um, not a big deal then just go shopping wherever and just make sure you do that don't stress about it though it's not um, something to really stress about they make it very easy for you because they're used to Americans going shopping getting everything and doing the whole process so I hope I explained it well I know I'm not the best at explaining things sometimes but I hope I kind of went over it um if you have any more specific questions you can leave it in the comments you can dm me on instagram but basically overall is that it's cheaper already over the top when you buy the goods there I think because they're produced they're manufactured they're made in Europe so it's a lot cheaper when you're buying the bag plus additional 20% bad tax is built into the price and you get 10 to 12% back on the back end when you leave the airport you have your receipts you present it and then they'll issue you issue you your refund back to your credit card so it's not that stressful um, but I just thought I you know could explain it for you guys because I know when we went, it was kind of like, wait, what? Um, but everyone's super helpful there, so I hope it works out. I hope you can go shop till you drop, get all the luxury goods there that you want, and enjoy, and have the best time. And thank you for watching. And also, if you can subscribe, it'd really mean a lot to me. So yeah, thanks. Hope you enjoyed.